Hello everyone, Rad here from uh, from Rad Tarot, and uh, this is going to be a quick announcement. Let's say it's an update on the channel, and uh, the update is going to be about numerology. Now I'm going to I have decided actually to start making separate numerology reports from uh, the Tarot reports, and this video is meant to explain you what to expect from the numerology reports because when i tried to make them uh back in i say in a couple of months people were confused because you cannot really bump into such in youtube or whatever because they are very let's say they are very specific in the sense of that they are very singular for that particular day and what is the most important thing about them is that they are not regarding your star sign because because when people come around to look for a prediction for you know for a report they look at their star moon and ascendant sign but while the numerology report it disregards those signs in other words it does not care numerology does not care what star sign you are numerology cares when you are born or in other words how old are you all right so it depends what stage of your life you're finding yourself at and uh, this kind of defines uh, what kind of a, a field of your personal life will be affected today for example so uh, what numero numerology uh, kind of like uh, um, lean leans on well, as uh, astrology leads on of the position of the planets, houses, and the representative star signs, or the tarot leans on a specific spreads and um, cards, numerology leans on on the vibrations. The vibrations represent uh, kind of like affinities. What affinity the day has what could be best accomplished during the day what the what the day or the month or the year is best for of for example making money reconciliation let's say or uh, making new relationship uh making peace with friends uh, or you know, finding a new job etc etc so it's give you what the best potential that the day has and uh, you know, it gives you as well a, a little bit of a glimpse of guidance, what you should do in order to, uh, or what you have to do in order to uh, kind of, you know, take advantage of it, of course. So uh, how this is determined, now we do have universal star code, it is what it's called. This is when you, when you kind of like uh, um, combine the, the day, the month and the year and you break it down to a singular digit. This is the universal star code uh, or the universal star vibration. And then you do have the day vibration or the carry on vibration. So it's kind of like a, one vibration carries on others, uh, the other vibration. And by the way, uh, if you have uh, listening to astrology reports for July, kind of they were a little bit extreme, you know, and this is because we had an event in, in, in numerology that it is called the, uh, <clears throat> the climax or um, <clears throat> the resonance. And this is because the universal star vibration was the same with the carry-on vibration. And for those who are uh, studying science and, engineer, uh, and engineering, they will know that this is called resonance when the, uh, when the amplitude is in its highest Peak. So things are getting extreme, things are becoming, you know, almost unbearable. And that's why, you know, many people had a rough time emotionally, uh, in, with initiation as well, you know, um, with uh, having a rest, etc, etc, in July, but now this is thankfully over. So, uh, yeah, you do have a carry-on vibration, the vibration that carries on the universal star vibration. And just to give you a quick example of that, guys, um, I, will, uh, I will tell you today, for, uh, I will give an example for today, what we, uh, how it's read, so you can kind of like have a glimpse of understanding what to expect. So today is the 7th of August, 2018. So the daily vibration or the carry-on vibration, that will be number seven. And when we kind of combine the day, the, the month and the year, uh, and we break it down to singular digit, we have number eight. 
So we have universal star code vibration of number eight carried on by number seven. So number eight defines the day's potential. Number seven defines uh, the means. All right. So one defines the potential, the other defines the means. Number eight is about money. It's about uh, just I will go up generally, you know, extremely generally here. So I don't waste time. But when the report starts happening, I will go much more profound into numbers. So it's about uh, so number eight, it's about money. It is a, about um, making thorough job as well if it is about a career or uh, you know it's some some numerologists or some numerology creeds also um, refer to a, a karmic number or it is time to pay our karma. Number seven it is a, about knowledge. It is a, about uh, uh not not exactly skills but yeah the overall knowledge let's say uh, it is about insight so today we uh, we have the opportunity to cash in and to cash in on our knowledge that is the global opportunity to to, uh, to sell our ideas for example to push our plans through into our career to kind of like exert uh, enterprise into our relationship which again because we do have number eight either it's going to make our partner to pay back something which they did wrong in the past or it's going to consolidate our relationship um, and uh, this is the overall vibration you know but how it's going to play out for every single one of us is the question because we are different people and this is where the uh, the, the, the the kind of like the, the the relativeness of when you are born comes to play around so we do have our uh, 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 ear frames that we kind of like exert that vibration in into a uh, ear frame vibration of the day so um and here how it goes those which are for one from one to 28 years old uh, they could incorporate this daily vibration or daily potential into their career and into their family relationship wise right so you you can decide what to do here uh, either you're going to Clean, lean more towards your career and be a workaholic or you're going to kind of like uh, go to more towards your family you know but you cannot have both that's the thing here and cash in on your insight uh, so for example if you're 20, 26 years old that um, that applies for you and today if you want to achieve great things into your career you are the man or you are the girl, should I say. I mean, go there and just share your ideas and you will find that your ideas are actually uh, very well appreciated. So uh, then the next frame of years, it is in between 28 and 37. And they could kind of like uh, stabilize their emotions with that insight that they will have or that knowledge that they have regarding money. So it's kind of like here comes the, uh, these people could, um, re-establish not re-establish but uh, reach a con confirmation upon for example mortgage upon a, a bank loan as well you know upon things that they're feeling very um disturbant about uh, upon the things that they're feeling very hectic about it um let's say that you kind of gave gave money to a friend of yours you know and they promised you that they're going to give you back the money a, a couple of days ago but they never called, or, uh, called around so today will be the day where you uh, kind of like will settle the things through so today for you guys for example if you are 31 years old it is time to settle um financial issues which are uh, kind of like unresolved thus far either you are the one in depth or there are people that are in depth with you today is the day where you do that i mean settle those um, disagreements or those predicaments and then uh, the next time frame for today that will be the 37 to 46 years old so if you are for example 44 years old then again um it is about your career or family so here we do have a cover up in between those from the first frame of years and from the third frame of years 
and for the entire month those which are older which makes kind of sense here 46 years and above are um kind of like that they have the opportunity to make to to literally cash in money from um from inside or in the seven is also about creativity you know of, of especially um especially productive day for those which are artists selling paintings for example selling books you know selling something that they are doing creative private businesses as well uh and uh, you need to know that these uh, time uh, these year frames of how old you are they fluctuate tomorrow for example the uh the final frame will not be from f from 46 it could be from 51 uh, on top the thing is that if you are 60 years old you will always fall into the last year frame it is just the fluctuation the fluctuation it is uh, 18 years all right uh and so uh, yeah basically this is what a kind of like a, a very petite numerology report looks like but very petite you know we are going to go much more profound and deep into it when i start doing them and they will be most likely um, monthly numerology reports and i will explain you why they're going to be monthly so um you are either going to they they are literally dailies you know but they are going to be um in nine videos because the the month uh, rotates nine universal codes with nine uh, carry on vibration which are always the same during the month so from first to ninth from 10th to 18th and so on and so on uh, the only difference here is going to be the ear frames of those that these people are affecting and the numbers that falls into those ear frames so today that uh, vibration could affect those which are uh, in the first frame in number six which is their um, their stability in the sense of that the things are going harmoniously so career and relationship uh, but, uh, or the next time however it may affect you into a uh, transition and changes which is number five so it does depend all right and that's why the the uh, monthly numerology reports which i'm going to do most likely i haven't decided yet i need to consult with my team about it but um the monthly if i go for monthly for example the monthly numerology reports will be broken down on nine videos and in every video we are going to take a look at one of these uh, vibrations and how that vibration will affect or kind of like energies let's call them energies so the carry on vibration with the universal star vibration uh, both uh, cumulatively form an energy so we are going to see that energy and uh, talk about it you know and we're going to kind of like uh, interpret it how this energy affects the every single one of us depending on how old we are in every day that this energy takes place so that will be for example for the first energy that will be first 10th 19th 28th and that's it all right so uh, basically this is what the numerology report is it uh, it is okay and uh, I hope that it kind of makes sense you know um, when we go to the reports it will definitely start making more sense to you guys and I really hope that that way you will have even a, a bigger glimpse of understanding what is coming uh, what you can expect in the month that it is coming and it is very positive to have a numerology report because that day you can plan uh, you can plan your schedule day by day if you believe in it of course um for example uh, you can kind of scratch down and make a note the best day of making money the best day of dating of of making dates you know the best day of uh, renovating your home let's say uh the best days you know to uh, hang out with your boyfriend or a girlfriend etc etc so that way you can kind of like plan it uh and see uh what is the uh, what is the most beneficial way for you to be much uh, uh, as much productive as possible into the different fields of our lives so pretty much this is what i was uh, this is what i had to say about the uh, the reports and in general you know about the, the the new content that i'm going to exert into the channel 
and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.